again. He understands humanity, for as a man, our magnificent king priest was tempted in every way, just as we are and conquered sin. Verse 16 says, So now we draw near freely and boldly to where grace is enthroned, to receive mercy's keys and discover the grace we need, we actually need to strengthen us in our time of weaknesses. Now, can we do the NIV? The NIV. They are doing a very, very good job. Let's read together one to go. All right, let us therefore make every effort. Uh -huh. Okay, that is verse number what? Is that 11? All right, let's continue. Let's continue back about 16. Thank you. For the word of God. Oh, man, I'm bad. Okay. Unazaruka Baka 14. Asante Linda. All right, verse 14 in Asemani. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has gone through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold firm to the faith we profess. Uh -huh. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet without sin. Uh -huh. Approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. So can we do now, which other version is there? King, King James, it's okay. Can we do the Amplified from verse 14? Amplified from verse 14, from verse number 14. In as much as then as we have a high priest who has already ascended and passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession of faith in him. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to understand and sympathize and have a shared feelings of our weaknesses and liabilities to their sort of temptation, but one who has been tempted in every aspect, in every respect, as we are, yet without sin. Mm -hmm. And boldly draw near to the throne of grace, the throne of God's unmerited favor to us sin, that we may receive mercy for our failures and find grace. Have you noticed something there? You receive mercy for your failures and you find grace to help in good time for every need appropriate help and well-timed help coming just when you need it. Praise be to God. I'm going to read the Living Bible translation. It says, so let us boldly, let us come boldly to the very throne of God and stay there. Tell your neighbor, stay there. stay there. So you come boldly and you stay there to receive his mercy and to find grace to help you in the time of your need. Lift up your hand and say, Heavenly Father, today I receive mercy. I receive your mercies today. Father, in whatever I'm going through, I receive mercy. The Bible says that your mercies are new every day. I am not depending on yesterday's mercy. I am depending on today's mercy. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you because the entrance of your world brings light and illumination. I pray that you may minister to your people through me. May I be used like a pen of a ready writer, writing in the hearts of your people what the Spirit is saying in this season. We thank you and we bless you, Lord. We ask that every one of us, oh God, will have another glimpse of what you're teaching us and our lives will never be the same again. Holy Spirit, I pray, use me for your glory and I pray, minister to your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may have your seats in the presence of the Lord. Now, yesterday, or rather on Friday, I was sent by my spiritual father to go somewhere to bury a church member that was that was um, um, uh, what fellowshipping in Nakuru, and this lady uh, I had never known her, 
my spiritual father had not known her that much. She was the kind of a person probably who would come once in a while. But as we, as I received the instructions and I was told to go, first of all, I was told it was in God. So um, uh, we decided to probably do an Uber. And we checked with my wife and the Uber was about, was it 900 shillings? And then when I see the, when the Uber guy comes in, he tells me, this is not the place that you're supposed to go to. They're supposed to go to a place in Thika. And the Uber amount is about 4,000 shillings. So I'm like, I would rather fuel a car to go. But then again, I got this impression, as even as we were discussing with my wife, I got this impression, why don't you just uh, um, decide, why don't you just wait for the guys that were, because there was a team that was coming from Nakuru. Why don't you wait for them and you go with them? And as we were going all the way, because we ended up in Nongatono, <laughs> from Ngong to Fika to Gatondo South to Gatondo North. So you can imagine pastor is, is getting into a meeting where now they are waiting for you to preach. So he's on the GPS location. My friend, oh, may God forgive that person. But long story short was, in that journey, in those three or four hours, I got to learn so much about this lady. And God was also ministering to me through the death of this lady. Praise be to God. I got to learn that she was at one time on fire for God. That at one time she would run to church. At one time she was serving God with all of her heart. At one time she gave her entire salary for almost six months. And then she got into a relationship that was not bad per se, but it's the relationship that got her questioning the things of God. It began questioning whether faith is correct, whether Jesus is the only true God. You know, whether, whether faith uh, is the only thing that can take you to the Father. And slowly, this lady deviated. This lady deviated from the things of God. Praise be to God. Now, uh, uh, the other part of the story that I was hearing is it got so bad because once you move away from God, you know you're moving where. Yeah. All right? It got so bad that she would go to work to get money to drink. She would get, she would go to work, not to eat, not to pay bills, but to get money to drink, to drink her way out of the souls of this world. And she actually committed suicide, and that is the reason why we were having a funeral. So as I went there, as the casket was just in front of me, immediately before I began teaching them, preaching about Jesus, I just thought and I saw to myself, I am not different from this person. This person is not different from me. The only difference is mercy. Praise be to God. The only difference is mercy. And I began telling myself and looking back at my life, how many times I have blown it up? How many times I have messed it up? How many times I have been wayward? How many times I have been rebellious? But it's the mercies of God that has kept me, that has kept you. Praise be to God. And so in this teaching of spiritual warfare, the Lord began to impress in my heart. I've talked about the mercies of God, I think last year. But the Lord impressed in my heart to teach you again some other aspects of mercy that can help you in spiritual warfare. Praise be to God. Because we are not ignorant of the devil's devices. I want to start by telling all of us and reminding us that we have a merciful God. We have a gracious God. We have a loving God. He is so loving. He is so kind-hearted, never thinking wrong about us, even though sometimes we blow it out of proportion. I was so shocked to realize that I am burying a lady that is the same age as my last born sister, about 30 years old. That was. That is a loss. She had she left two 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 babies. But you see, that is a loss. And uh, uh, church, I don't know about you, but it should begin to concern us when we are burying young people. I think it should really concern us 
when you are burying young people. Because when we bury people at the age of 30 and below, it means there is a generation that is going to be missed. There will be a generation of gap. Praise be to God. And one of the things that I am really, really praying for my generation, my generation and this other generation that is coming up, is that don't be a know it all. Don't be a know it all. Don't be so educated that God has no place in your heart. Don't be too uh, too loaded, too educated, too wealthy that now you're battling in your mind the things you used to revere. Praise be to God. Let me not go ahead of myself. No matter how bleak today, tomorrow, or this month's look, the Lord wants you to know that He's thinking about you. You are the apple of his eye. He loves you. He cares for you. And every day his main prayer is in 1 Peter 5, 7. Cast your cares upon me, for I care for you. That is the prayer of God, even in these uh, uh, places that we are, in these circumstances that we are. 1 Peter 5, 7, New King James says, Casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Praise be to God. Now, as we are going to be learning about spiritual warfare, last Sunday I told you that spiritual warfare, the, the major part of a spiritual warfare, happens where? In your mind. So the battle is where? In your mind. Tell your neighbor the battle is in your mind. Now, spiritual warfare will never be complete without us talking about the flesh. You see, most, most of the time, we major on the flesh at the expense of the mind. Most of the time, our spiritual warfare will never be complete without you mentioning the flesh. Praise be to God. Because it begins in the mind and then it multiplies in the flesh. So we shall continue learning that as days goes by. But understand that God is still merciful. Praise be to God. God being merciful basically means that we deserve punishment. He doesn't punish us, but he blesses us because he punished Christ. Mercy is withholding of judgment or a just condemnation. If you're writing, and I pray you write, mercy is the withholding of a just condemnation. Mercy is the withholding of a just condemnation. It means the judgment is just, but God decides to withhold it. And throughout the Bible, God gives many illustrations of his mercies. All right? And so if you're, if, you're, if you're writing the heading for today, we are looking at another look at the mercies of God. Another look at the mercies of God. Throughout the Bible, God gives many illustrations of his mercy. God fully demonstrates his mercy in Jesus Christ. How many of you believe that it's the season of overflow? Let me even charge you even the more. I've been having testimonies upon testimonies of how God has been faithful. Mr. Francis sent me um, a WhatsApp chat this week. Yeah. And he has recovered. God has given him two cows. And he was telling me they are producing milk like never before. And he got them and they are pregnant, the two of them. Double for his travel. Praise be to God. But I remember, what just happened to the sound? I remember that when, when, when he lost his cows, there's a way in Impiga. There's a way in Impiga, the wife too. But I kept telling them, God, we restore it. You see, God doesn't restore these things, Pap. He can do it, Pap. But there is a there is a there is something he has learned between him and God. Praise be to God. All right, another lady. Yeah, and the they are the newest uh, the newest parents. They are the newest parents. Praise. Congratulations. Amen. Another lady was uh, telling us. That that's a stranger paid school fees for for the kids. And you want to show your And after that, ask him to summon your spirit to offer on Sunday. And I can decide I will not allow the devil to mess with my mind. And God came through. So I see cars. Yes, and more here. 
Mortier got 240 G's. School fees. So to the two graduation. And you get my point. He was telling me, Pastor, I cannot and I cannot understand how 240 and speakers are linked. Carrying speakers are 240. It's called faith. It doesn't make sense. Praise be to God. So we are which degree are you doing? Jesus is Lord. At what? Astro? Astro? Physics. Physics. Mulataku to teach you. Can you open a degree? Finance. Gary, you can find a degree? Actual science. Praise be to God. Janet, you have a degree. You have a degree in communication, commerce. Tell your neighbor what a shock. All right. So I pray God will uh, grant you uh, those those blessings in Jesus' name. Okay. As you get a way out, let me just preach that way. So throughout the Bible, God gives many illustrations of His mercy. God fully demonstrates His mercy in Jesus Christ. Praise be to God. Now turn with me to Lamentations. Trust me, there is a book called Lamentation. Lamentation 3, verse number 22. Lamentation 3, 22. Lamentation 3, verse number 22. What does the Bible say? Through the Lord's mercy, we are not consumed. Uh -huh. Because His compassion fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. What do we learn from that scripture? That the, it's because of the mercies of God. It's because God has withheld certain things that you are not consumed. Yes. Praise be to God. Yes. It is God that is holding your mind. Yes. As I'm speaking, it is God who's holding your mind. Yes. That's why you have not gone gagas. Yes. Praise be to God. Yes. It is God that is holding your body, yes. holding your health. Yes. Praise be to God. I tell you, if God was to open up the spiritual realm, you will stop complaining. Praise be to God. Probably you just passed somewhere and a stray bullet. Peter, and it was meant for you. Praise be to God. I remember one time my pastor telling us that he, he, he was just leaving his gate. As he turned his car, a stray bullet, Ikapita. Mm. Praise be to God. Amen. It is because of God's mercies Amen. that you are not consumed. Amen. How many times have you complained more than the children of Israel? Amen. It is because of the mercies of God Amen. that I'm not consumed. Say with me again. It's because of the mercies of God that I've not been consumed. Praise be to God. Amen. You contrast your life with the life of the children of Israel. Actually, we are doing worse. We complain a lot. We murmur a lot. Praise be to God. We are there painting the bad picture of this uh, Christianity and this work of God, but we are not consumed. Praise be to God. He says, through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed. Because his compassion failed not. See, a man can, be, can decide not to be merciful. Your father can decide not to be merciful. But God in his own wisdom has decided to be merciful. To be compassionate. And the Bible says he fails not. Praise be to God. They are new every morning. Mr. Francis, there was a bank of mercy last day. Yesterday. If you didn't use it in the end of evil, today there is a bank of new mercies. Praise be to God. And I want you to get to a place because some of you have been asking me, Pastor, how do you hear God? So we don't call a common. Pastor, how do you hear God? 
Pastor, how are you able to walk in love? Pastor, how are you able to do A, B, C, D? It's not that I'm so educated than you. I don't even have a degree in actuarial science. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. The thing that God has helped me to hack is to hack the small things. God has enabled me to hack the small things. Praise God. I would rather be a forgiving pastor. I would rather be a forgiving husband. I would rather be a forgiving brother than an anointed brother. There are many people who are anointed but they can never forgive. There are many people who are anointed but they can never walk in love. I would rather major on the minor than minor on the major. Kama kuna kitu kama Bwana sikuwe sana. Now the living Bible in Asema, his compassion never ends. It is only the Lord's mercies that have kept us from complete destruction. Praise be to God. Great is his faithfulness. His loving kindness begins afresh each day. Praise be to God. As I build up my case, I want to let you know that there are many things that happen in your life. There are what? There are many things that happen in your life. And if it's not for the mercies of God. Yes. Huh? Yes. Let me tell you, somebody was telling me, when you receive Christ, you don't need mercy. Ah. I asked them, have you read the Bible clearly? I can show you. Let's go to 1 Peter 1. 1 Peter 1.1. 1, 1. Alright? 1 Peter 1.1. 1, 1. I know it was not there, Linda. So, have mercy on me. <laughs> <laughs> so, 1 Peter 1.1. 1, 1. What does the Bible say in 1 Peter 1.1? 1, 1? You can do the New King James. Okay, let's talk about this. <laughs> but you're doing a better, better job. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the pilgrim of the dead, uh, in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. Mm-hmm, verse number two. Call on it of God the Father in sanctification of the Spirit for the obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus. Grace to you and peace be multiplied. Alright? So many are called. Blessed. One more time. Blessed. 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 Be the God. Blessed. Blessed. May God have mercy on you. So blessed be the God and Father who according to his to be some mercy in need withholding something. So who according to his ability to withhold has begotten us again to a lively hope through the resurrection. So, your journey to become a new creation required what? Mercy. Mercy. Your journey to stay together with God requires what? To an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled that does not fade away, reserved in heaven for you. Do you need mercy? Are you born again? Do you need mercy? Alright, let's continue. So, now, that book of lamentation was written by prophet Jeremiah. He was lamenting about their, um, them being in Babylon. Is it Babylon and Babylon? <laughs> Depends on where you went to Nazareth school. So, a part of that book is Jeremiah crying. That's why he's called the weeping prophet. He's always crying for his nation. But now the plot changes in Lamentation 3, he realizes that even though we are in captivity, even though we are in Babylon, we have discovered after confessing, after prophesying, after giving seeds, after tithing, after prayer, after praise and worship, we need the mercies of God. He realizes it's because of your mercies that you are not consumed. And that should be your prayer today. In Jesus' mighty name. Let me ask you, people of God, I'm taking a poll. <laughs> I took a poll yesterday to the guys who are uh, were here. 
in the seven hours of prayer. So if you are here for the seven hours of prayer, this question is not for you. Okay? So, without, without judging, we are not judging any person here. See you quickly. We ain't judging any person here, correct? Yes. So I want you to be honest enough and tell me, when was the last time you came to church, entered the church, found whichever person was praying here, or it was during praise and worship, and out of nowhere you lifted up your hands and you said, Lord, forgive me. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Forgive us for what? Alright. Where did you do? Have you ever bullied yourself and God forgive me? Lift up your hands. Alright. You know why, Mr. Francis? Let me come down here and explain. You know why? Because most of the time, this Seemingly small doctrines, we are forgetting them. We are too much into confessing that sometimes you are confessing with a lot of sins. The Bible says that the blood of Jesus continuously cleanses you. Now, just because the blood is continually cleansing you, doesn't mean you should not acknowledge you need forgiveness. For example, how many of you can really say you obey God 100%? We can't say that. Praise God. How many of you can say you walk in love? You can't say that. As in 100% you walk in love? You can't say that. 100% you're not angry? You can't say that. Praise be to God. And so, one of the things you should never lose if you're going to walk with the Spirit of God, if there's something that you should never lose, is the heart that can be preached. A heart that can be done what? Quit. A heart that can be cut. That is why Isaiah comes. Isaiah says what? After he has seen all the glory. I'm going to share with you. I'm going to do your, your vision. I'm going to do your vision. I'm going to share with you. I'm going to I'm going to kill a kid. What is the next statement Isaiah says? Woe unto me. I'm a man of unclean lips. After you have seen the glory of God, after you have seen everything about God, he says, woe unto me, I am a man of unclean lips. But if we are not careful, we can present ourselves before God as men of clean lips. Am I condemning people here? No. I am putting you into a place of sensitivity. Because when you lose this sensitivity, you lose now the fear of God. Praise be to God. Amen. Praise God. Ukiangalia yeah. hata ukikam church. By the time we talk a home to the church, kuna kitu ulifanya. Makanga alikwambia kitu ulijaa. Hata ukamwambia kitu. Bwana siwe sana. Kuna mtu aliniambia kama mimi usinizo eh ninazeka Yesu chini. <laughs> wow. Unazeka Yesu chini. Praise be to God. Why are we not as powerful as the church in the book of Acts? We are trivializing small, small things in our spiritual life. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. The blood cleanses you. That is perfect. That is Jesus' sight. What about your sight? Praise God. So, Kunamutu, Mr. Francis, I'm in Giacomori. Now, it's not a spiritual warfare. Praise God. Let me ask you, because they are not kids. They come off flesh. But let me ask you, if right now you decided to go and get this guy called Jack Daniels, when you not see on a or a if you go and you took Jack Daniels, you befriended Jack Daniels. You began drinking Jack Daniels. Every single day you're drinking Jack who? Jack Daniels. Should you be shocked that your liver is no longer working after two years? Was it the devil that opened Jack Daniels? Paid for Jack Daniels? Who did it? Who did it? That person. That person did it according to what you're saying. 
So, if that person took himself to Jack Daniel, which is bondage, I can pray for them. God can do something about it. We can pray for them. God can do something about it. But there is a place only mercy can help them. Ile ya, God inajua figo, ni, maini, zileiva, nisamehe, nisaitie sasa. Can I make him search? Listen, we can never get this land by confessing. We cannot get this land by giving. No matter how much you can give. Tungi ukwe. Hii itakuja tu na neema ya Mungu tu. Ni Mungu tu akupatie hii chukua. That's what I'm talking about today. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. So, go home and read Jeremiah 31:35. At your time. But I want to show you 1 Kings 11. Let's go to 1 Kings 11. 1 Kings 11. 1 Kings 11 verse number 9. Man, let me take you on a journey. I remember Mr. Francis. To be good at it now. We didn't know much. We didn't have much. Man, I would pray. My wife would pray. We would confess. We would say everything that we need to do. But one time, God in his wisdom opened up our eyes to understand that you cannot do certain things without my mercy. Mercy works together with grace. Nitamaliza na wakisimia. Tumelalia pande ya grace sana. Tukasahau pande ya mercy. A complete teaching on grace involves mercy. Praise God. So 1 Kings 11.9. Inasema nini? So the Lord became angry with Solomon because his heart had turned from the Lord God of Israel. See, God became angry because of what? Because of the women? Because of what? Actually, we saw verse 1 in a sermon. King Solomon loved many women. King Solomon loved many women. The, 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 the what? The result of loving many women came from his heart turned away from the Lord. So, to solve it. so the Lord became angry with Solomon because his heart had turned from the Lord God of Israel who had appeared you see sometimes the Bible is so what? It's so on point, it's so clear direct to the point to show you that this man was so spiritual God could communicate with him on dreams. So even if I can be you are not indispensable when it comes to your heart. You can fall the buyer. Yes. You can be a prophet now the buyer. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Yes. And so, and had commanded him concerning this thing. So God had told him concerning that thing. At one particular time, if you don't watch out, your heart will turn away, away from you. That you should not go after other gods. But he did not keep. But in retrospect, did Solomon go after other gods? Pause. No. He, he literally didn't go after other gods. He went after women, and the women introduced her. Are you getting it? Because normally, young men Because if you saw my text, all his women are the only all that. Imagine building orders for a thousand women from the hands. Uh-huh. Yeah. Therefore, the Lord said to Solomon, Because you have done this, and have not kept my and my which I have commanded you, I will surely is that judgment? Talk to me. Is that judgment? Uh-huh. And give it to your servant. Look at this. Nevertheless, for the sake of so the previous text is a judgment. The following preceding text is what? Mercy. Nevertheless, I will not do this for the sake of your father David. I will tear it out of the heart of this. Now, the difference between the father and the son 
was the attitude of the heart. Because if God told David this, David will go. And it's what he sat on ashes and decided to cool for a whole until God arrived like on this thing. Can I hear an amen? So we are again. We are again. Hii inamaanisha Mr. Francis. Kwa hii dunia tunaweza pitia changamoto sisi wote. But response yako kwa Mungu ndio inadhami. <laughs> so for example, kuna 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 mse kuna mse anaweza kuna mse anaweza fornicate. Eh? Na kamwelee mrama. Wewe tu ya kwanza kana kuelea mrama. And you wonder what has happened? You wonder what has happened? Kuna mse amejoa kuhak. It is naweza kibiria masi za God. Na sisi tuisa sasa tu mess leo tukibirie. Ah ah, ame realize. Mimi ninajua nikifika mwisho najua how. That is why people of God, please are you looking at me? Yes. I'm very smart. That is why in church never have a hard mentality. Unaweza toka hivi junior, mtoke hivi ni example. Yes. So, let's continue. Verse verse 13. However, I will not hear away the key, the whole kingdom. I will give one to son for the sake of my servant. So, tukisema David was a man after God's own heart. Is the intricacies of what David used to do. Yeah. Like for example, David will inquire of the Lord. When was the last time he inquired of the Lord? When was the last time? Who will you have to? Julia Bio Yumba. Ni afifinga au. Na hiki ifama kona. Una kai yumba ya doi chila au. I want to save 5,000 sheets. Did you inquire of the Lord? Ume hama umeige yo yumba. Na maybe in the next three months it's supposed to sink. Now you are shocked. The house ime ambio na gava NCA. It is now supposed to be demolished. Unaanza kusema God where were you? <laughs> God was there. You never inquired. Bwana asifiwe sana. Wazazi wacheni kupeleka watoto shule kitu unataka ile shule. Unanipata? Ask the Lord, where should I take this? The Bible says train up a child. Complete that scripture. Train up a child in the way they should. There is a way they should go and it's not your way. Train up a child in the way they should go. Your work is to train them in the things of God. Show them how to pray. Show them how to work with their hands. But there is a way they should go. Where you see, you see, you need to find out how to be a lawyer. You need to find out how to be a lawyer. Okay, that is your answer. You need to watch. Let's go to Psalm 162. Psalm 106, verse 32. Psalm 106 from verse 32. What does the Bible say? Thank you. What does the Bible say? To some, to some, trust me, they see. They angered him also. You see, waters of strife in your Exodus in Echo Mara. The waters of Mara. Come to Canada, the waters of Mara. You see, the waters of strife. Alright? So, so that it went in with Alright. Now go to the final Moses. I've seen yet canon. Because they rebelled so that he spoke. Uh-huh. They did not concerning whom the Lord. Alright. But they and land. You mingle with the wrong person, you learn their works. It's true. You mingle with the wrong people, you do what? You learn their works. 
The sound which became the even Are you seeing that? They did what? Sacrifice their son. Then you don't want to imagine. Uh-huh. And share the blood of their sons and daughters. Whom they and the land was and by the way, I'm more emphasis. Continue reading. They were defiled by their own works and prayed by their own deeds. Therefore, the wrath of the Lord was kindled against his people so that he uh huh. And those who hated them, ruled over them. Their enemy also oppressed them, and they were brought into another land. Many times, many times, many times, to what's happened. So, why would I sacrifice God? Praise God. Praise God. But you have walked in, an, in one form of rebellion, disobedience. See, so really, which other form? In me, the religion, what is the same thing? My sorrow, unbelief, and all these things. And many times, God delivers you, but you still rebel. Aha, uh-huh. and you are brought low for the iniquity. Uh, to Apple, Apple to yeah. Nevertheless, yeah. look at the mercies of God. You are pissing me off, but I will deliver you. You are pissing me off, but I will regard your affliction. When he had there, when he had there, so can I ask a question? Look at me before. Can I ask a question? Nila Sima to Afike Ilevo Yakuria. You can learn from people's examples and don't go through the process of crying. See, because if you have a place in see, 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 According to the multitude of his mercy. Praise be to God. So let me give you a very good example. Come here, Junior. So we have Junior here. Junior, you are. All right, so let me have you, John. Actually, also let me have you, Marie. Yes, it's a, it is a, an example of God. All right. This is an example of God. See, they are looking beautiful. Yes. So, tell it to Naya or Tuna. Tuna. Yo. So, let's assume I am God. There is no place for arguments. <laughs> So, from time memorial, in my plan, in my schedule, as the big chess player, because one will, you believe God is a mighty chess player. He's the one that makes moves. So, you know, in my wisdom, I had projected thousands of years to come, there will be somebody called Junior. And in my plan, I want you to marry Joy. There is no place for arguments. In the example, <laughs> the example. Amen. Okay. See me away. Then, Bible, qua plania will not. I have desired that Mary 
and Gare will be married years to come. See the way? Now, God, what is the first reason? I want a godly offspring. That's the reason people get married. God is doing, God has an investment in every marriage. So, I am looking for a godly offspring. Okay? But as I was creating the first templates, we talk about a creative in Adam, a new moja. Who moja is going to multiply? That's the way God works. God doesn't make a spiritual father, He made one. In a form of multiplicity. That's for another time. Alright, so. When I made this as part of Adam and Seth, I gave them free will. Yes. I chose to decide. Yes. So, you know, yes. so, I as God, I will always be waiting for their day. These guys will get to a place of maturity. They now feel they need to have a spouse. But as I'm here, I can never interfere with them unless they tell me, Lord, interfere. Yeah. Are you getting? Yes. So one way of defining prayer is Lord interfere. Yes. Are you getting? Yes. So utafika time ya kuwa God na kuangalia. There is no place for arguments. Ana kuangalia. You are meant to come and tell him, Father, I feel it's my season. What do you think? For as many as I live. By the Spirit of God are the sons of God. So if he comes to the Father, the Father by his wisdom, I can only guess, would you marry? Yeah. Yeah. So that applies to a business deal, ministry, uh-huh. and every other thing. For example, if it is ministry, which type of a ministry? Where to do the ministry? Which age? To go into. Are you getting these things? Eh? Yes. Okay, eh? yes. So assuming now this couple decided to decided to play part B. We are not hearing God. Senior. So Junior now decides in illustration. In illustration. In illustration. And then Gary Kujapandi. Ah, Gary Kapu. Gary was a car. So, so, thank you, thank you. So, Junior, in his wisdom, his university, universal, fatanic yes. Astro- wisdom, astrophysics wisdom, <laughs> astrophysics wisdom, decides, I am going to marry Mary. Is it wrong? No. Is it wrong? No. Mary is born again. Yes. Junior is born again. Yes. From all intents and purposes, physically speaking, is it wrong? No. Spiritually speaking, are they missing out? Yes. Is it making sense? Yeah. So, if they decide to marry uh-huh. and stay together, now what they need is mercy. Yeah. Yeah. What you need is mercy. Yeah. What, what you need is mercy. Because at the first point, it was not the will of the Father. This is what we call Mr. Francis permissive will. Siku anataka, lakini ni sawa. It makes sense. Yes. Now, kuja ngare. So, tuseme, ngare ya kohapa. Na joy ya kohapa. They are still trusting in the Lord. Utanisikia. They are still trusting in the Lord for what? For a spouse, they are still trusting in the Lord for what? A spouse. Then, God in his, in his wisdom directs them together. From the word get go, this was not the plan. See no. yes. But because God and I thought, Uneza mes plan yangu. Thank you, sir. Because, because God and I thought, Uneza mes plan yangu. It makes sense. Yes. Akiwaleta pamoja, sinia me decide. Yes. Juhuko kulifawona. Yes. Akiwaleta pamoja, 
Now, these ones will be living in his mercies and seeing the grace of God. Our ni mercy. Mercy now ushers them to grace. So they have to work extra hard. Oh, glory to God. They have to work extra hard. Where else our ni kwenda tu? Ni kwenda tu? Unanipata? So huyu hii couple inaweza fika mahali. Usisahau kenye nasema. Wanaweza fika mahali waone hawa si. Ai hawa si kwani hawajaelewa hii kitu. Eh marriage inafanyago hivi. Marriage inafanyago? Lord have mercy. Haya, nikukumbusha scripture inasema gaje, he gives grace to the humble. So what are they doing? They are removing the mercy. They are now becoming proud. They are forgetting their sure mercies. They are forgetting the hand of God. So, he does what? He resists. He resists. Now, it's one thing when the devil is resisting you. It's another thing when God and them are, eh, hey, okay, let's see. So, unaona kuna ngori unapitia, shetani hayuko. Yeah. Ajui. So, so we have to say, hey, people should understand how marriage works. Jesus. <laughs> so, she can't even go. Ni illustration. <laughs> so, God decides. Huh? Mm-hmm. So, you are the one teaching people how marriage works. Mm-hmm. Now, go through a wilderness. <laughs> so, can you have hope? Mapito. <laughs> so, kuna mapito unajiweka. <laughs> Si shetani. Na njia moja Kenya watu kujieka kwa mapito ni kiburi. Kiburi ni mbaya. Don't think you are so good. Don't think you are so anointed. Never think atukifanya hivi tukilala ni wewe tu. Bible inasema there are 7000 more prophets. That was there. So kuna ngori mimi nitawaambia kama wa Kristo. I've been sharing this thing with my wife. I know as a pastor I see it in the spirit. There are some of you it is not the devil fighting you. You got yourself into that predicament. And only mercy. Nitapokelea mafuta nifanye hakuna until the day utakuja huu. Ukuwe humble enough kupiga magoti useme God have mercy. Ni mimi nilijiweka huko. Uliniambia sikusikia. Una get? So our ni mercy na grace eh? So anytime kiburi itaamka, they will remind themselves, see how we have gone through. They go down. Hawa yeah. lazima wapitie kitu ndio wafikie hawa sasa. So mapito ingine ni kutoa kiburi. You're too proud. You're too proud. Praise be to God. Amen. Look at every person that is doing well in a certain field. They don't walk with pride. They don't. They don't. Am I making sense? Yes. They don't. Mumepata illustration? Yes. Can I now continue preaching? Yes. Thank you guys. Thank you. Lakini tume. Can I hear amen? Yes. Sunday last Sunday I showed you that it's pride that took the devil from the throne. Never beat your chest. Mina, uswai piga kifo sana mimi siwezi kunywa pombe. The day you do that. The day you do that. I tell you the truth. You should always say God keep me by your mercies and grace. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Some things Elizabeth people go through. God had forewarned you but you. Right. Yaani God kabla afikie masikio yako lazima apenetrate kiburi. Kiburi atoe walls upon walls of kiburi ndio kufikie. Wacha nikwambie when you hit certain ages you don't have the luxury of mitihani. At 20 25 30 way joke there are certain things you listen to me joy there are certain things you do you may never recover 
Wana sikuwe sana. Kama ulikuwa school of ministry yenye tulifanya mwisho. My wife spoke about somebody who left Parklands. Sio? Yes. I was being told they went back and they are sitting as a mushirika. Now let me ask you. You really want to tell me by the time I'm going to cut a kufanya Kenya na fanya? Hakusikia. Alisikia. But I did decide even ndio utafanya. So ndio muulize yake wa pendwa. Must you learn everything? The hard way. Must you really learn everything the hard way? Ah, ngari ni lazima yani kikitu kikuje ni ujue lazima niombe. Si uombe. Ndio hiyo kitu uijaribu kuiresist hivi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Praise be to God. Must you learn everything the hard way? Ah? Huh? If you see how many of you are blessed by Rema Fest? You are watching Rema Fest. We know akibi you miss kuulizi. Miss kuulizi ya siku kwa hiyo basi ni wewe. Kama uliona flyer, you know what I mean. So you're a flyer. Are you glad there's something happening in Kenya? Yes. Maybe most of you may never know this, but I can I can pick up with maybe Mr. Francis and and the rest of us. Our seven is a kukuambia. Kenya ilika more than 25 years bila big meetings. Ask them. Kulikuwa ku dry Kenya. Unaona hii revival? Atujaza kuombea hapa kikui. We have prayed for revival since if I can remember well 1994. We have been praying for revival. Now if revival is God having big meetings. Wewe ushawahi kuona wapi wa Kristo wanatoka saa 7 usiku? Something is being set up. Yet in wiki I was showing my wife how other men of God are against this meeting. They are fighting this meeting. They actually one of them say should you one of them posted should kwani revival inakuja na foreign ministers kwani wajui tuko I was telling my wife huyo amekaa hii Kenya 20 years what have you done See <laughs> when graduate mature guys to a place that God can use Mr. Bernard for revival yes. Nikaona Mr. Bernard ameamka hivi mwanangu hata wafanyii hivi mwanangu kitembea ah hata mimi namfuata eh hey, Mr. Tupe ha Sio kweli Sasa nikianza kusema hiyo hiyo ni hiyo ni Beliza ba nobody should follow that man What are we doing The body is fighting itself And madaktari I don't know whether they are doctors here When the body is fighting itself it means what there is something that has been introduced Sio kweli Now, don't get to a place job that you can open your mouth to talk about the servants of God. Sasa zingine ngori umeingia, uliongea kuhusu apostle Nana. God have mercy. God have mercy. Let me help you people of God, I say this with all humility, with all reverence. God jealously guards his servants. Never forget that. Ukiongea za mchungaji, God anakuwekaga on a pedestal. Anajiuliza, huu mchungaji vitu nimempitisha huku kuwa. Sasa uko na audacity. Tunakumbuka hiyo story ya Miriam na Aaron. Unajua God akifiatuka alifiatuka kujuu jamaa 40 years amekaa na mbuzi. Ananuka mbuzi, anaongea kama mbuzi. Mimi ndo nilimweka huko. Alafu mnakuja mnasema hapa nini? Hapa. Kana hiyo ni ile. Sorry, sorry. Ah, mtaki sorry. So we went somewhere with my wife. Um That was was it 2 months ago or 3 months ago? I'm not sure. But 2 3 months ago we went somewhere and we are having a discussion kitia na tukikutana na mapasta wenyewe wenda ahead of us you is a maswali ama tunasikiza bila wanasema tukua kina marevi that's what my pastor told me he told me ukienda kukutana na man of god don't bring your revelations there sit down and listen so this story it happened to ku tukibonga wakaongea vile offenses zinakulaga wasi so one one um, 
one, one member of that church that was being raised to be a minister of the gospel decided that on this particular Sunday, I'm going to fish out flyers. I'm beginning out <laughs> a ministry. So I'm a member of Asha's work. Baba, I'm a member of Asha's work. So on that particular Sunday, the father is shocked. Nobody is coming to church. He's like, what? So he was angry. He called the guy. Please come. We need to talk. I can't get up at the sounds of Sisi, atukuji. That's what he did. Atukuji. And that pastor said this lady, me, me, by the grace of God, me and my wife, you can never do that. I pray you never do that. But I said, Ma, you have refused to come. All of my grace that you operate with, I take it back. Jokujam, I take it back. Eh? And in the next couple of weeks, it was bad for that guy. It was bad for that guy. Did he even at a report? I think he was hit by a sickness, a rare sickness that is not even happening. And a TB or Kuna. So he was telling us that the family has tried to call the pastor to go. Now, me, my wife, and the apostles that were there, we were pleading. We were telling you, please, Achilia would say, Enda tu umuachilia mkono, umuachilia. Sama, no, he did me wrong. For me, apostle, if you don't do it, who would say at a baby? He will, eh? <laughs> now, my pastor, the man of God, you saw him in a coup, taught us, after Kijama, Bless the people of God. What a God I could be here. Praise be to God. I don't know, maybe it's some tafuta and my wife told to joke a in some hair. But in that story that I'm telling you, how many times do we talk about men of God and bring judgment our way? So can we stop judgment by pleading mercy? Yes. Praise be to God. So, what's the quick difference between mercy and grace? <laughs> Maybe sometime I'll, I'll post a clip by you know Archbishop Duncan Williams. There's a preacher called Archbishop Duncan Williams. He has this story. Actually, one of his pastors, Ali Gilzar Kibao, the church. Daniel Mtuma. A capel story a cambo. So and so the Badlisha Kibao. What? What has he done? I think my covering back. At the day he said that, see he go in a foreign land, eh? This year, I want to cast a photo of my dad. I think I was 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 a photo of my dad. I think I was a photo of my I'm going to read somewhere. The man pleaded. Six months later, he said, I'm okay. I've forgiven you. Somehow the government has <laughs> forgiven me. God doesn't use perfect people. Amen. I tell you, Beatrice, if God decides today to be using you in this church, I will rally behind you. It that make sense. Yes. Because we are not the chief shepherd. We are the chief shepherd. We are the under shepherd. The one who is the sheep, <laughs> the sheep whatever, is Jesus. This is the one who is the one So, if you are a man, you are a man. You are a God's going to be. Eh, you are a man. And that's why you should not be title oriented. Eh, Mrs. Bernard, see, it is easier calling me pastor. So say we imagine a little doctor, doctor. <laughs> bishop, general overseer. This is between the guy and the sister. After years, we only have to details of people. What a simple sir. So quick uh, explanation of mercy and grace. God's mercy and God's grace are not the same things. Though the differences are subtle, they are often mentioned together. 
God's grace and mercies are both manifestations of God's love and compassion. All right? Mm -hmm. Are you getting? So, the Hebrew word for mercy means compassionate, to bend or to stoop in kindness to an inferior. Mwepata? Mercy means to bend or to stoop in kindness to an inferior. So, understand it. God's mercy is not giving sinners what they do deserve. So, mercy of God ni una deserve but si kupati. Unona? Ken? Mercy of God iko hivi. Ulikuwa unauzia wa sendo hongi. Ken, nona vilo kwa serious na ulikuwa unauzia ndo hongi. Ulikuwa unauzia wa sendo hongi. Ulikuwa today mapo. Unaletea wa naume ndi upate profits. Aki yo biyajana. Then God is not DVD in heaven. Mia kone za nako wana ni kisikibigi ni kisikibigi. Ulikuwa unauzia wa sendo hongi. Ni familia mingi sana umekoneza. Siyo kwenye? Ni tuna mtu wingi tulipata mimba kwa hiyo baya. <laughs> Alo, okay? So kwa judgment, kwa judgment, unatoka katika yundo. Eh? It's not it's not I'm training you for international ministry. It's not called nyundo, it's called adultery. Yeah. So akienda kuipiga hivi, anasema you are guilty, but you are innocent. Hiyo ndio mercy of God. Unastahili kwenda kwa moto. Unastahili kabisa. But nimekuachilia. Umenipata? Now, God's grace is positively giving sinners what they do not deserve. So, Ken, so mama. Case number ama ni obina <laughs> obina ama bla 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 case number de, 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 de. you are accused of opening up a box for the book what you get the masses of God and you will read it so many families have been here so many lives died because of the drinking you deserve judgment you deserve judgment but you make what you hear <laughs> this is how you should respond. Then, now grace comes in. Now that you have been forgiven by mercy, begotten by mercy, now you should sit at the right hand of the Father. Amen. We know condemnation. Praise be to God. So you see, you need what? Mercy. So to keep it grace, bila kuonesha wa say you needed mercy, tuna wadangai. Bona siku sana. Na bado ukiwa hapa kwa mercy, uko uko kwa actually now in, because of time will not elaborate, but now you are in the mercy seat. Where it was in the old testament. Yes. Yes. And now you are seated together with him graciously. Now the Bible says the grace of God now teaches you to say no. So grace now empowers you. Grace is an empowerment. Usiishi ile maisha uko unaishi pale. Sikana na make sense. So Ken akienda for apparent reasons are not from our brother. That is why the Bible says you are counting the blood of Jesus a common thing and insulting the spirit of grace. Are you getting? it? So every day he should remind of himself of the masses. It's masses that help me. Ni masses mefanya nikaacha kuuza ndo wewe. Si ati mimi si si fanya biashara. Naweza fanya biashara but masses. And so and as I say man now because I have mercy God grace me to provide for my family. Oh. Empower me to provide for an not through a brother. Yes. Is it not making sense? Yes. Thank you, Ken. So, grace is what we receive that we do not deserve. While mercy is what we do not get that we do deserve. Nitantuisa, ngari? 
Nirudie. Grace is not only Kibiu's wife, but grace is what we receive that we do not deserve. While mercy is what we do not get that we do we deserve. As in, you, you deserve judgment, but you don't get it. Grace is what we receive that we do not deserve. I do not deserve to be named the family of God. So, the fact that I'm now named in the family of God, I can say God is gracious. All right? While mercy is what I do not get that I deserve. So, I deserve eternal judgment. But I don't get it. That is because God is merciful. It may make sense. Yes. Has it made sense? Yes. So, we can say, like I've de- defined, that mercy is what we do not get that we do deserve. So we can say, you deserve to be broke. See you? But you don't get to be broke because God is merciful. You deserve to be sick. But you don't get to be sick because what? Because of the mercies of God. Has it made sense? All right. So, let me, let me, let me close with this. Let me close with Romans 12. Romans 12 verse number 1. Romans 12 verse number 1. In the I beseech you, brethren, Linda on a multitask. When you let see. Was he? I appeal to you, therefore, brethren, and beg of you in view of all to make to make a decisive dedication of your bodies. Now, pause. Yeah. Kama kuna place utawai fika na God, nilis ku utalan the art of consecration. The art of what? See, concentration, consecration. Praise be to God. Now, notice I'm a sema. I appeal to you, therefore, brethren. Who are brethren? Born again believers. Yes. So he's not talking to non believers, he's talking to believers. He says, And I beg you. In view of all the mercies of God, after Unone's mercies, what is a moon? And I say, Mary, make a decisive of your body. So, God doesn't make any decision concerning your body. Niwewe. Now, na kwambia ya Mr. Francis, uta make your decision after ume check the mercies of God. After ume notice, you used to sleep around. So much that you couldn't even tell <laughs> who is who. Hey, tell someone who is who. <laughs> hey, mercy said no. See, there's a song called that. Mercy said no. Mercy delivered you. Now you're walking by his grace. So, Anasema, the fact that you know you used to sleep around. And now God has become self-control. He says now, make a decision that my body belongs to God. And your body, when you become your body, most of you are thinking about the reproductive system. Lisa, the same as system, like Your mouth is part of your body. Make a decision. Vulgar words will not come out of my mouth. Colossians in Asema refrain from coarse gesture. That's what the Bible says. You something in a poor office, at a window on a GN snare. How can you be a big okay? Let me not look at you. How can you be a believer? How? How can you be a believer and your cousin? You are cursing. And you can't tell me this Christian cursing. Eh? 
You can't tell me there is Christian Kashi. Wewe. Wewe unatoa F word. Na si faith. Na si father, na si flowers. Wewe ukijihenga hivi the first word that inakuja ni the S word. Na si spirit. Na si spirit. You need to make a conscious deliberate decision. Ah, tuendelee. To make a decision, decisive dedication of your bodies. Tuendelee. Presenting all your members. Bible inajaribu kukuwa too soft, but members include what? Your parts. Do you know the book of Romans chapter 6 in get you your scripture? Romans chapter 6 in Asema, your members are members of righteousness. So when you say two spirit man work on the righteous, God and Ajua, that part is also righteous. And Asema, you present your members and faculties as what? As a what? Romans 6 hapo. After, hapo kuna mali kuna mali kwa uongelea kuhusu slave to righteousness and stuff hapo ndio nataka kuambia so you present your members as a living as a what living what remember that thing Romans 6:15 hebu tuone hapo ama kile nitasomea ndio tusitoke hapo kwenye linda meka what what then shall we okay what then Shall we sin because we are not under law? Certainly under not. Mm-hmm. Certainly not. Mm-hmm. Do you not know that to whom you present yourself, yourself slaves to obey, mm-hmm. you are that one slave whom you obey, whether Post. of sin, whether of sin, leading to death, uh-huh. or of obedience, leading obedience, to leading to righteousness. Mm-hmm. So we can say there are Christians who are slaves. Now, from your pagoza, she can get a new call. You can be a slave to Paul. You can be a slave to lust. Paul and Asema is because you keep on presenting yourself to that person. That person now becomes your master. Is it making sense? So Anasema is presenting your members as a living sacrifice. Who oh, can is here to be a guide to you? Paul Kuja. Kama umetoa kula ugali. Aha. Oh, you Paul. I'm good. You're good, eh? Right. You're sure you're good, eh? Okay. So, for lack of a place, you can work a living sacrifice. And you can start here, and you can start here. And you can start here. And you So, I want you to see something. Anytime, because it's a December, you can see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Becky, the this this the bozi the nome the color is is helping you in December because it's a dead sacrifice. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Now he in Amanisha a living sacrifice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now this is what happens with a living sacrifice. Hmm? Yes. So amefungwa. Simbuzi lazima itafungwa na mikamba na nini na nini na nini, sindio? But the moment this is inafanya wang, 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 wang. Akikato hiyo anasema, eh, 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 apana, 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 apana. Because he's a living, sacrifice. Niongeleshe ni. He's a living what? Sacrifice. Na unaona hii ukisoma other translation, it's a daily thing. You should present yourself as a living sacrifice. So ukikako living, mungu wakiamua leo na pita na shingo. Anakata. But she date wa Kristo inakuwa nini? Akianza kukata unamwambia hii kwa serious. Eh, hii ni kwa serious. Hii ni siwezi. Hii safari ni ngumu. Kesho. Kesho. Yeah, kaka. So umesema he's the high priest. Si tulia tukasema he's the high priest for the men. Now the high priest will wait for the time the living sacrifice after he hongo hongo itaru. Ikirudi. Eh hongo hongo is uh, Greek for kutembea tembea. Wewe shika tu Messi. Roaming, roaming services. The next time you come, so you're a living sacrifice. Where do you think the Lord will begin doing his sacrifice? Hapa hapo tu ndio anakata. Unaruka tena. 
Can I hear an amen? So, according to the mind of God, look at me, what are you doing? If I were you, if I were you, say again, if I were you, lay it down at the altar. Wacha akate kila kipu. Ujam, ufiaduke, lakini ukae hapo. Wana sifu sana. Na ingine anakata, attitude. Wacha nisiangalia wa kitu preachi. Paul unajua kuna wase, wakona attitude na wezi sota. Misi hizi sota. Na wana confess. Na confession ni poa. Sinio, si tunasemaga, I refuse him sufficiency. Yes. Nema hali ni, ni kweli kapsa. But as a living sacrifice, God aneza alao usote. Nansha. Aneza alao usote. Just to check your heart. So, so, mse anasota. Eh? Anasota, alafu the next thing, anatolea mungu, tantos. So, kama uko machua hall, ukianza kutoa tantrums, you should be calling yourself ujambie, ni nasota, mungu wa meyalao ni sote, ndiyo nione, ni nakuwa na tantrums. So, mungu by your masses, ni oneshe kutoa tantrums. But kwa prayer yetu na kuwa kaze, mungu unoona ni mesota, sipati chakula, siji, you are praying the wrong prayers. You should be asking him, why am I throwing tantrums? Is it making sense? Yeah. That is the time you begin living like a sacrifice. Holy? So, can we say, Mr. Francis, there are sacrifices that are not holy? Yes. <laughs> and there are sacrifices that are not acceptable. Yes. Which is your Ebu angalia, yani hiyo God kukukata. <laughs> Anasema, mtu hapa is very reasonable. Hata sijafanya kitu. Yeah. Inafaa hiyo. Oh God, you're being unreasonable. Ah, me I think I'm very reasonable. Can I hear you? So can I tell you something else? Stop being fixated on the glory of God over men because you are not ready to pay their price. I think you should clap there. Because joy ukisema God ni tumie kama sinach. End of the sinach. Show me the bad side of life. What are you going to say? You are everything you have gone through. Then ukai kama Yesu, are you ready to count the cost? Kana hiyo ni amen. Utaenda usikie sinacha na kufaa kila siku. <laughs> she dies every day. We ukufi. Na uje hiyo na sacrifice mbaya kama umekata shingo alafu ushakata kuku shingo alafu inatembea. <laughs> eh, ile ndio kuwaa damu. Na ikato shingo. <laughs> God ana deal na wasi kama hao kwa church. How many of you want God to prosper you? Look at me. Look, look around. Look around. Hold on. Just lift up your hand. If you really want God to prosper you, then be prepared. God to kukata na vitu zineta wa greed. God ata ngoa greed. Na shida yetu upo, ni shidi yama. Unike yama. Shida yetu inakuwaka, God aneza kata greed. Si ile kuku inakimbia hivi, haina kichwa. Ile ile inachukua the same kichwa inava green. Doesn't it really shock you that God gives you a promise and then you get into a problem? Why? God nitakuta nili nili preach a message some years ago kwa hii church. Nikasema God anakupea promise, anakupea problem. Hapo na kupea provision. That's how God works. God hezi kufanya milionea na plese nye uko. Lazima usote. Kama God ame kukuhita as a healing minister, utaku kiona tu ugonjo around. So that you don't hit your head that you are a healing minister. 
so that you know he uses you by his mercies. Oh. Can I hear an amen? Ah? So wewe unakuja unasema God I want to be a kingdom financier. Mercy inaanza. Greed. Angles. Job entitlement. Oh, mimi lazima nikae runda. Mimi sijui lazima mimi kwanza kusha notice wakati tu umeokoka hivi unakuwa na mamimi mimi. Mimi siwezi kalia ndovi. Wewe mwenye unakalia saa hii. Mimi siwezi tumia uba. Uba unaiona kwa pleso. Kama app. Nenda na shop na gari. Wewe mwenye unaenda kwa kibanda sasa. Ah, mimi lazima ni macho huo zote zilifeli. Hey. 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 What? With this thing on, I better tell you the truth. Praise be to God. God and Azad. Anakarati. Anakarati. Alafu wote ni after Mungu amekuzungumsha mlango leso zako, ndio unakuwa kama Musa. Anakuambia sasa, eh, ni mwaki. Namwambia mimi Mungu siwezi kuua. Siwezi. Siwezi hata nikae tu vile niko. Is it making sense? Mnajiona kwenye huko? Kwa hii safari. Mmejiona? Eh, unakuja unasema oh god. I have to use a Mercedes Benz. I call for a Mercedes Benz. It is true it will come. I have never told you otherwise. But my friend would have come. Utatembea. Ushatembea kikia kuna kama the valley of the shadow of death. Utatembea. Utatembea. Kwa nini ni Sabena? Ndio ile siku utapata Mercedes. When you see a mshirika, you will never be charged without carrying one shirikas. But God anajua saa hizi kwenye huko. Ati gari yangu unajua na ipeleka ka car, ikaosho ipapo mafuta. Boss, una mahali na kidaga gari unaosha na kipande. Na ina gara. Praise be to God. Isn't this the name of character development za Mungu? Wapendo wacha niwasaidie. Whatever God anakata, kaa hapo. Mata ofa kaza kumwambia tumia power so. Kata faster. Ishange mapema. Eh, the king's business requires what? Maliza is only faster. I was telling my wife as I close. Hii mwaka God amenirudisha where I was in 2014. Maji. In prayer nikamuliza what's the next phase in my life? Akaniambia, you remember a question you asked me in 2014? Go back there. Nikamuliza so is safari yote ya 2014 mpaka hapa 9 years imekuwa nini? Akaniambia I was answering that question. Now go back to 2014. Na hii ya spark. Na nimefika mahali mimi huwa singengani na Mungu. Wapendo wacheni kumngana na Mungu. Pray when you can. There is a time the grace for prayer will give you. Pastor Nelson says, you either pray because you want to pray or you pray because there is fire all around. I pray you don't get to fires so that you pray. The living Bible in a sermon in And so dear brethren, dear brothers, I plead with you, give your bodies to God. Let them be a living sacrifice. Holy, the kind he accepts. When you think of what he has done for you, is this too much to ask? Is it too much to ask? What has he been saying? Ladies, manze, nikono ya mwana ume mungine ifa kukushika. Kama si bwana yako. 
Wana sikuwe sana. Sasa kuongea vizuri hilo kaichi. Na usoke nje. Look at me people in the concrete world. Stop stealing petty cash. Wacha ni mbali yetu. Stop stealing petty cash. You know what you're doing? You're just delaying your own process. Stop stealing petty cash. Am I helping somebody here? Wacha kuingia kwa bribe. Wacha ni kujikatia njia. Wana sifu sana. Wana sifu sana. Get back to the place of reverence. Niliwauliza watu wangapi waliona wanasema Mungu ni sale. Muona vile vitu vingi unakodi kuombe msamaha leo. Umeona sasa. Na hizo hizi sana kitu kama umeambia Mungu the first prayer should be Lord forgive me and have mercy on me. Praise be to God. By the way, get to dimensions of silence. You don't need to speak everything that is crossing through your mind. You don't need to say everything that is on your mind. Actually, the Bible is very clear. You don't speak your mind. You speak the mind of Christ. Kalia beta amen. Praise be to God. Mr. Francis siturudi kwenye tuko tunaogopa Mungu. Mimi nakumbuka tukigrow, tukigrow up. Ongeingia church kama prayers inaendelea. Sisi kama mlikuwa mnaziona hivyo, watu walikuwa wanakaa nje. Unangoja ukisikia amen ndio unaingia. There are churches I know when it's time for preaching they close the doors. You are told to hold it. To do what? Hold it. To hold it. But now slowly we are modernizing the church and I pray it doesn't happen in Jesus name. Where do we get this this notion that you you can you can receive a phone call in church? Church. Kamuga tuongee tu kweli. Ruto akikuwa hapa na Rigadi. Simu yako si yako kaifinye hivi ukikanyaga hivi. Eh? Ndio yata huu. Jumsa wa mau mau atakufanyia ile kitu. These are the things that are making us to fall short in our spiritual walk. Bwana asifiwe sana. How is it that that nowadays unasema ati 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 mimi naangaliwa watu flow. Who made you what? Who made you what? Ati flow. Afu kwa sikia statement zenye kuwa tunasema kama wapendwa hapa. Ati damu yangu na yake. Hizo ni vitu za dunia. Ati damu yangu na yake. Na sasa Yesu si atakuja sema na, na damu yangu. <laughs> Are you see if we don't allow the mass if we forget about the masses of God there's a place we will never get praise God yes, lastly look 18 verse number 9 then we pray look 18 verse number 9 have you been blessed yes hey, you should pray for mercy you should ask God oh Lord be merciful in ndomo yangu bro god in ndomo yangu mimi nilikizaka kwa ngori Mazi kila wakati sijui sijui hata nikipiga super glue bado nitaingia kwa ngori sidie Bwana asifiwe sana Amen eh unasikia mmoja anga god mazi hii mwili wangu inatetemekana bwana na si stima na usikoni saidie katetemeka zaidi nisaidie Msiseme amen so many scripture mkunywe chai tu Eh tu some scripture Sina violence I'm very merciful Eh also he spoke this parable to some See you guys you love my preach Yes you know I love you guys All right also he spoke this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous Because I was on the church Uh huh Two men went up to the temple to pray. One Aha. Uh-huh. God. He starts collecting. Who is a guy who? I 
Mimi mwezi I Uno na huyu ana give tithes of all that he possess. You you give tithes of some of the things you possess. That's for another teaching. Eh? And the tax collector standing afar will not as much as But he say what? God be merciful to me. Oh, be merciful to me, a sinner. Uh-huh. I tell you. Rather than the other, for everyone who will be and whoever So you see the way to be lifted up in this kingdom is what? Have mercy Lord. Lord have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. I miss doubt. Have mercy. Send me fear to have mercy. That's the way God lifts you up. Are you seeing people of God? Yes. One more scripture. Tuende kwa Micah. Micah. Trust me. There is a scripture called Micah. There is a book called Micah. 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 Micah 6. Micah 6. Verse 6. Micah 6. Inasema nini tuseme kwa moja? With what shall I come? All right. Shall I come before you with burnt offerings? With calves? A year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams? Ten thousand rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn? Uh-huh. For the sin of my soul? He has shown you, O oh man, what is good. So, pause. The other things, giving and stuff, except giving now the firstborn as a matter of giving, they are good. But here, God has shown it the very good thing. He has shown you, O oh man, what is good. What is good? Zome? And what does the Lord require of you? But to? To do justice. To love mercy. And to walk. Listen, you cannot be merciful to your brother or sister if you have not understood how merciful God is towards you. What is the scripture? What is the scripture? Give and it shall come back to you. Press down, shake it together. Contextually, reading of that scripture is actually talking about mercy. Your scripture giving, contextually, is talking about mercy. So give mercy and it shall come back to you in a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and grinding to May God have mercy on us. May God have mercy on us. Maybe we are going to go to May God have mercy on you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why don't you stand up on your feet? Or if you can, if you need it to kneel down, you can kneel down. But I want you to ask God for mercy. Lord, where there is judgment, I desire mercy. That's the prayer I want you to pray. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. We are going to pray. It's a, just a short prayer and we are out of here. We'll, but I want you to pray. That God have mercy. 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 You need the mercies of God more than you can ever believe. You need the mercies of God. Father, I ask for mercy. For mercy. If I have ever prophesied anything that is was not from your heart, have mercy. If I have ever preached a sermon that did come from heaven, have mercy. If I have ever, mighty God, prayed for things that, 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 that were not the main thing, have mercy. If I have led, led people astray, have mercy. Have mercy, mighty God. Have mercy. The Bible says you are full of compassion. I pray for mercy. I pray for mercy over my life, over my children, over my destiny, over this church, over the members of this church. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, have mercy. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy. Against our disobedience, against our rebellion, have mercy. If you have rebelled, have mercy. If you have walked away, have mercy. Be merciful. 
Be merciful upon your people. Be merciful upon your people. In the name of Jesus. Be merciful, O Lord. Be merciful, O Lord. Be merciful. You that is full of mercy. Be merciful. You that is full of mercy. Be merciful. Be merciful to my brother. Be merciful to my sister. Be merciful to the married person. To be married to a single person. Be married to the baby. Be merciful to the co worker. Be merciful, mighty God. At times our mouths have cost us, O God. At times relationships have cost us. At times, O God, we have gone to shoulder. Because of our ways, our thinking, mighty God, have mercy. We have murmured, we have complained, have mercy. We have, mighty God, become carnal, have mercy. Help us be spiritual in the name of Jesus and have mercy, oh God. Have mercy, we are dependent on your abundant mercy. We are dependent on your abundant mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, mighty God, I pray that your mercy is prevail. Let your mercy is prevail in the name of of Jesus Christ, when there was judgment, let your mercies prevail. When there was judgment, let your mercies prevail. When there was judgment, let your mercies prevail. In the name of Jesus Christ, show mercy. Show mercy to somebody. Show mercy to somebody today. Show mercy to someone's business. Show mercy to someone's career. In the name of Jesus Christ, show someone mercy. I pray for mercy. I pray for the mercies of God. I pray for the mercy of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray mighty God for the masses of God. Be merciful, be merciful in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why don't you just take a minute and just ask for forgiveness? Just ask for forgiveness. I know the Bible says that the blood of Jesus continually cleanses you. But I want you to go before him and tell him, Lord, forgive me for ignorance, forgive me for gossiping, forgive me for slander, forgive me for trivializing the things of God, forgive me for prayerlessness, forgive me for worthlessness, forgive me mighty God in the name of Jesus Christ, forgive me for murmuring and complaining, forgive me mighty God for being stiff-necked, forgive me mighty God for being rigid forgive me mighty God in the name of Jesus, Lord have your way in my life, have your way in my heart, have your way in my destiny. Wash me and cleanse me in the name of Jesus. Wash me and cleanse me in the name of Jesus. Wash me and cleanse me in the name of Jesus Christ.